I'm Rachel Robertson. I'm an international keynote speaker based on my experience leading an expedition to Antarctica where I lived for a year leading a team down there. Yeah, I was the second woman uh, leader at Davis Station in Antarctica and, and the youngest ever at that time. Um, and it was, it was a challenge, but what I did to create uh, a, a cohesive and resilient team was we had a rule that respect Trump's harmony and it just meant we don't have to all agree and we don't have to always be best friends but we will always treat each other with respect and it took pressure off me being a female leader because it highlighted the diversity in all of us. So it wasn't just about gender, it was with different occupations, different ages, different professions, uh, different religions, and it just meant we're all so incredibly different that we don't have to all be best friends, but we do have to always treat each other with respect. Empathy as well. Empathy as well. Yeah. That's, it's huge because you need to empathise with someone and say, look, I don't necessarily agree with them, but I respect their contribution to the team and I have the empathy that uh, that's their life and as long as they're not affecting me, let it go. What, when I think about gender equality, I think the biggest challenge now is, is to get the men, men to understand that diversity is, is bigger than just gender. Uh, I think it's only when the men start realising that they're all completely different that they'll start to appreciate that women are different too. And so I try to talk about diversity in terms of religion and culture and, and in mining in particular, cross-culture is a big one because we often have teams from 40 different countries. Um, and I think it, when the men start to realise that they're not the same person, they're all really different to each other, then we can start appreciating that we're all really different and that's great and that's awesome and it's how you get innovation. It's how you handle the conflict that's really important and that's where, for us, the no triangles rule was so important that I don't speak to you about him, I go direct to the person and that just built respect in the team. And again, particularly as a, as a woman in that environment, I didn't want people coming to me all the time and dumping uh, on me and so that was exhausting. So building a culture where they would address each other rather than come running to me was fantastic and it uh, kept my sanity. <laughs> Yeah. What, what surprised me about mining investment in Asia is the, the diversity of countries represented here, uh, which we know that. I've worked a lot in Asia Pacific, and so I, I kind of expected we'd have six or seven or eight different countries, but I think there's some, over 30 different nationalities in the room, and that's extraordinary. That's extraordinary. And to be working collaboratively, working together, uh, well, what a fantastic role model, what a fantastic model for the world to show that different cultures and countries can work together in cooperation. We don't have to be fighting each other, we can work together and I think it's, that's brilliant, I think that's fantastic.